Hi, this is Andy from Sterling Tulus Cemerlang. In this presentation, we would like to share with you our IRIP point of sale. IRIP stands for Integrated Retail Application. We will show you how our IRIP integrated point of sale integrates the transaction directly to SAP Business One. In this presentation, we will show you uh, sales from POS, from your stores, and we key in. And when we post the data to the back office system at the head office, it will run automatically at the background. First, we will log in and put our sales in our point of sales. Our IRIP point of sale consists of uh, several modules which consist from sales, inventory management, inventory management range from good receipt, inventory transport to head office to other stores and also inventory receipt from suppliers and also from other stores. And also we are covering the physical inventory or the stock of NAM process. Also we also have some um, membership which we can you can design your customer groups so you can apply it specifically to special discounts so on this uh, presentation we will focus only on sales point of sales and the integration on the sales data screens we will see in key or scan it barcode and the barcode will automatically give you type which downloaded from head office. So once you uh, set up the price of head office, then it will distribute it by schedule to all the specific stores. You can support also uh, different price for different stores. Uh, let's say we buy 10 select coffee makers. And also, uh, if you notice, we will see in a transaction on business date 18 October 22. All stores. Uh, we will show you after we see the transaction, it will automatically post to SAP Business One. Okay, after we see in one uh, item, then we close the sales by seeing the initial payment. This is only after whether you already insert your sales uh, promotion or pin for specific item. First thing for specific item. Okay, on this um, initial payment screen, you can set and put your membership. So, the system will um, see whether there's a promotion for specific membership. But for this uh, proposal, for this demonstration again, uh, we will show you uh, on the payment and we will skip the membership for different uh, demonstration. Okay, we will start. Uh, Pay for uh, two types. Uh, first one is the cash. So uh, let's say you pay cash by uh, three hundred thousand, and then you can add up the rest. Like pay for the BCA card for the card number. You automatically access for the card number. Uh, we also can set up additional charges if you have additional charges for specific uh, cards. And then we can also call from your EDC machine. Okay, and then we have two different types of payment for this uh, sale. After that, we will close the sale. So our point of sale actually is done offline. Means you, you don't need to have a dedicated connection online to your time to the head office. The reason is because when you don't have any connection, you still can do your transaction. So after we do the first transaction, you can always send your data to the head office at any time. Or you 
can run at any like closing or opening stores if you only need one time to consolidate the transaction data at your stores to the SAP discussion. Okay, you only need to run one process actually, which we call start of day. And this process will remind you that you are on the 18th of October. Then when you see the processing system will ask you whether you want to move your business date because uh, sometimes you haven't closed your date yet, so if you want to continue to enter to the 18th. So we just uh, say we don't want to make our mistake, we will still keep on the 18th of October. Then it will also remind you whether you want to break up your database. Uh, so the system will automatically take care of your transaction, creating and, and sending your transaction to the head office. We use uh, FTP server to find the data. Um, all transaction sales inventory transaction is your automatic system. And also, if you have data downloaded from the head office, at this time also the system will connect and then download the data to update to the point of sale. Data such as new item master, update item master, or uh, size update for specific date. It will download it, will download it at the same time also. Okay. Um, before we show you the, uh, before we process the data, the sales data to the SAP Business One, I will show you the SAP Business One screen. So the uh, sales data coming from your point of sale will become the SAP Business One. So before we process, we will show you the air invoice status on the SAP Business One. So the SAP Business One will show you, uh, we will show you the last transaction on the SAP Business One. Okay, th this is the last transaction in the SAP Business One, uh, 15 of October, and we will process our uh, point of sales transaction on the 18th of October. And uh, from our means of payment, we will also uh, process the payment, the cash, and the BCA bank, and it will become a final entry at the SAP Business One. We will also show you the last data before we process the, our point of sales transaction. Okay, so this is also 15 of October. This is the last transaction of the SAP Business One, if you see. And also the amount is 637. Okay, so um, after we check our SAP Business One data, then we can process. We can always check on our um, sales data before we uh, upload. So this is the on transaction is eighteen of October. October and we'll see now by the human the few days. So on this report, we will show you 
our transaction we uh, sell 10 quantities of Philips coffee makers and the total uh, value is 1 million two hundred seventy five thousand then we can start processing the difference between uh, our process in the point of sale actually the process in the point of sales is only send the data to the head office server but it hasn't processed to the SAP business one so in our head office we will schedule a process as I run the process we can schedule this process at any time you want and how many times also you want it later on your head office to uh, take the data take the transaction data from your uh, all stores and also distribute your updated data such as master data from SAP to the stores okay we will run the process You don't have to worry with this uh, a lot of locks because uh, usually we will uh, run lock in detail we'll record lock, lock in detail so if uh, things happen we can trace uh, what is the issues of the integrations and after a couple uh, weeks or a couple months the system runs well so we can uh, minimize the lock in order to speed up the, to save uh, your space our uh, iris in the <coughs> point of sale use as to interface to other application such as SAP Business One. So in in this process we will call the XMLs between the two systems and process it directly. Okay, once the system, uh, the process finished run, it will uh, take off the screens and we can go to the our SAP Business One screens again and then check for the results. First, we will go to the error invoice because previously the last data is on the 15th of October. Then if we go to the last data now, it should be on the 18th, which is our last transaction from previously. So this is our transaction, we just uh, entered from our point of sale, we will give you uh, 18 of 10 and also with the uh, correct unit price. For the tax and everything, we can set up based on our configuration data. It really depends on your uh, configuration. And for the journal entry also, because this is on the sales side, but for the means of payment sites, we can also check. The, our means of payment so this is our means of payment on the 18th of 10th and if you notice here the total sales payment is 1,275,000 and it's uh, coming from two type of payment one is cash 300,000 and the other one is the BCA card but BCA card will automatically split because there is a bank charges for this card which we already set up previously on the SAP business one so when it uploads and automatically 
uh, give you the credit card commission you don't have to calculate it yourself so next day when you have to reconcile with the bank it will be easier for you because the charges is already taken care if you uh, the credit card commission actually is part of our solution also for the SAP business one because SAP business one doesn't come with the retail solution so we have an add-on for retail so this retail add-on actually is a additional features so we can integrate ACB business one to our IRI point of sale seamlessly thank you for listening to this presentation hope this can help you to understand and clear you on our features. Thank you.